Have you ever wondered which key inventions ignited the spark of the Industrial Revolution, changing the world forever? One such invention was the cotton gin. The late 18th century was a time of extraordinary transformation, a period that would come to be known as the Industrial Revolution. This was more than just a shift in technology, it was a comprehensive change that touched every aspect of human life. It was a time when society transitioned from manual labour to mechanisation, from rural agrarian life to urbanised industry, and from local economies to global commerce. Imagine a world where the pace of life was dictated by the rhythm of nature. Farming was the primary occupation, and industries were almost entirely manual. But as the wheels of the Industrial Revolution began to turn, this world was irrevocably changed. The introduction of mechanization meant that goods could be produced on a much larger scale and at a fraction of the cost. This led to an explosion of trade and commerce, which in turn fueled the growth of cities and the rise of a new industrial working class. But what were the key inventions that kick-started this unprecedented transformation? There were many but a few stand out for their sheer ingenuity and far-reaching impact. The steam engine, for instance, revolutionised transportation and industry. The power loom brought unprecedented efficiency to the textile industry. And then there was the cotton gin. A seemingly simple device, but one that would have profound implications for the economy of the antebellum south and the institution of slavery. The cotton gin, invented by an American named Eli Whitney Jr., could separate cotton fibers from their seeds far more efficiently than human hands ever could. This invention made cotton a profitable crop, laying the economic foundation for the expansion of slavery in the United States. Yet, despite the social and economic impact of his invention, Whitney's story is not one of unqualified success. He spent much of his life embroiled in legal battles over patent infringement for the cotton gin, and later turned his inventive mind to the manufacture of muskets for the United States Army. Among the inventors who left an indelible mark on this era, one name stands out, Eli Whitney Jr. Born on December 8, 1765, Eli Whitney Jr. was destined to become one of the most influential inventors of his time. Growing up on a farm in Westboro, Massachusetts, Whitney's early life was shaped by the practicality and resourcefulness of rural living. He was a curious child, always tinkering, always looking for a way to make things work better. His mother recognized his inventive spirit and nurtured it, providing him with the tools and materials he needed to explore his ideas. Whitney's education at Yale College further honed his inventive mind. Here, he was exposed to the ideas and concepts that would later form the foundation of his groundbreaking inventions. His interest in mechanical devices was sparked by his studies and by the exciting innovations of the Industrial Revolution swirling around him. Little did he know his innovative spirit would soon revolutionize the American South. In the year 1793, Whitney invented a device that would transform the cotton industry, the cotton gin. This invention, as simple as it may seem, was a game changer in the world of cotton production. Before its inception, separating cotton fibers from their seeds was an arduous, time-consuming task, often taking an entire day to process just a single pound of cotton. But Whitney's cotton gin changed all that. This ingenious device used a system of wires and brushes to quickly and efficiently remove the seeds, turning a day's work into just a matter of minutes. With the cotton gin, the production of cotton became faster and more efficient, fueling the demand for this fluffy white crop. But the cotton gin's impact was not solely economic. It had profound social implications as well. In the South, where cotton was king, the gin reinvigorated the institution of slavery. The increased demand for cotton meant more labor was needed to plant and harvest the crop. And tragically, that labor was often provided by enslaved individuals. The cotton gin, in accelerating the cotton industry, inadvertently became a tool that strengthened the chains of bondage. Despite the transformative impact of his invention, Whitney's journey was not smooth sailing. He found himself embroiled in numerous legal battles over patent infringement. 
Others saw the potential in his invention and attempted to replicate it, leading to a series of lawsuits that Whitney would wage in defense of his invention. These legal battles drained much of the profits he might have earned from the cotton gin, casting a shadow over his groundbreaking innovation. While the cotton gin brought him fame, it was not the end of Whitney's inventive journey. His inventiveness did not stop there. As we shall see, Whitney's mind was always at work, always searching for the next innovation that would again transform the world. Not one to rest on his laurels, Whitney turned his attention next to the concept of interchangeable parts. This was a revolutionary idea that promised to transform the world of manufacturing. In the late 18th century, the production of goods was a laborious process. Each part of a product was meticulously handcrafted, making every piece unique. This uniqueness, while charming, was a logistical nightmare. If a part broke or wore out, it required a skilled craftsman to make a replacement. Whitney saw an opportunity in this inefficiency. He proposed a radical shift in manufacturing, the use of interchangeable parts. Instead of painstakingly crafting each piece individually, why not create a system where parts were standardized and could be swapped out as needed? Whitney didn't just advocate for this concept, he actively implemented it. His first showcase of this concept was in the manufacturing of muskets for the United States Army. Whitney demonstrated that by using interchangeable parts, muskets could be produced much more efficiently. The parts could be made in separate locations, assembled at a final point, and most importantly repaired easily on the battlefield. This was a game changer. The significance of Whitney's advocacy for interchangeable parts cannot be overstated. It was a key factor in the industrialization of the northern states, leading to a manufacturing boom. This boom, in turn, was instrumental in the US victory in the Civil War. The North was able to produce weapons and other essential war materials at a pace the South couldn't match, giving them a crucial advantage. The concept of interchangeable parts spilled over into other industries too, from the production of clocks to the manufacturing of cars. Today, it's a fundamental principle in mass production worldwide. Whitney's advocacy of interchangeable parts was yet another testament to his ingenuity and vision. His ideas not only revolutionized manufacturing, but they also shaped the course of history, cementing his place as one of the great innovators of the Industrial Revolution. Though Whitney passed away on January 8, 1825, his inventive spirit lives on. Eli Whitney Jr., a man of humble beginnings, left an indelible mark on the world, and his legacy continues to reverberate through the annals of history. His inventive genius and pioneering spirit are emblematic of the American ethos of innovation and industry. Whitney's inventions, the cotton gin and the system of interchangeable parts, were not just groundbreaking technical achievements, but they were also catalysts for profound social and economic changes. His cotton gin revolutionized the cotton industry, transforming upland short cotton into a profitable crop. This invention bolstered the economic foundation of slavery in the United States, inadvertently prolonging this regrettable institution. Though it is important to acknowledge this unintended consequence, the transformative power of Whitney's invention cannot be understated. The cotton gin mechanized the process of cotton harvesting, increasing efficiency and making cotton a lucrative staple of the American economy. This invention was a cornerstone of the Industrial Revolution, setting the stage for the rapid industrial development that would characterize the 19th century. Whitney's second major innovation, the system of interchangeable parts was no less significant. This concept revolutionized the manufacturing industry, paving the way for mass production and the assembly line. Whitney's advocacy for this system in the manufacture of muskets for the United States Army demonstrated its practical application and set a precedent for its widespread adoption. The impact of these innovations extended beyond the realm of industry. The economic prosperity fueled by the cotton gin deepened the divide between the agrarian south and the industrializing north, setting the stage for the Civil War. Conversely, the system of interchangeable parts widely adopted in the north played a pivotal role in the Union's victory. 
Despite the profound impact of his inventions, Whitney's life was not without hardship. He faced numerous legal battles over patent infringement for the cotton gin, which eroded much of his profits. Yet he persevered, demonstrating a resilience and tenacity that is as much a part of his legacy as his inventions. Whitney's life serves as a testament to the power of innovation and the indomitable human spirit. His inventions transformed industries, shaped societies, and altered the course of history. They serve as a reminder of the remarkable capacity of human ingenuity to shape the world. Eli Whitney Jr., a man of humble beginnings, left a legacy that continues to shape the world we live in today. His spirit of inventiveness, resilience in the face of adversity, and the transformative power of his inventions continue to inspire us. As we reflect on his life and legacy, let us remember him not just as an inventor, but as a visionary whose ideas continue to reverberate through the fabric of our society.